All right, guys, now that we've got to our first fishing spot, I'm going to tie up my drop shot. First thing you're going to want to grab is um, you don't want to get some leader material. Uh, I throw my drop shots on a six and a half foot, seven foot medium heavy spinning rod. I like the medium heavy because primarily, as you can see, we're going to be fishing around docks. I really like to be able to have a little extra backbone for when I set the hook, I can pull that fish away from the dock <coughs> so he doesn't get tangled up under there and break me off. I like some <clears throat> 15 or 12 pound Seaguar Invisex fluorocarbon. It's a really abrasion resistant fluorocarbon. Uh, so when fishing around stuff like a dock post, timber, rock, it, it does a really good job. What we're going to do is we're going to tie that directly to our braided line. The, the knot I like to use, I believe, is called a Albright knot, Albert knot maybe. Uh, I don't know. I'll link. Actually, I'm not sure what this knot is called. I will link the video of how I learned to tie the knot in my description so you guys can see. Uh, but we're going to tie that up. All right, now that we've got the knot tied, uh, after you tie your knot up, whatever knot, it doesn't matter what knot you're using, a double uni blood knot or this knot, which I will link a video in the description of my video that shows you how to tie it because I found that this knot, whatever the heck it's called, is the easiest to tie and it's also one of the strongest. Uh, I tie my tag ends. Uh, with a little left, um, I use a little, leave a little on the fluorocarbon end just in case for some reason the fluorocarbon slips, it doesn't automatically slip right through. Uh, some of y'all may notice that I've got quite a bit of leader line, probably 20 feet or so. The reason for that is not because I want a lot of leader so the fish don't see my braid. I mean, you know, that that's the reason you throw leader materials so the fish don't see the braided line. But the main reason for throwing a lot, uh, putting on a lot of leader material on your spinning rod is so that when you have to retie that drop shot, you're going to have to retie the weight and the hook and that's going to take up, you know, 10 to 20 inches of line every time you do that. If you have a short leader, you're only going to be able to retie that drop shot one or two times before you have to retie the whole setup, which means getting out more leader material, uh, tying an extra knot. Uh, you know, it's, it takes a lot more time in a tournament. I, I don't have that time, so I like to throw a, throw a long leader on there so I can pretty much fish the whole day with only tying a couple knots instead of having to tie three knots and get all my stuff out. Saves a lot of time and that's going to really help you out in a tournament situation. All right, let's talk about the hook and the weight. Uh, depends on the, the hook size, depends on the size of the worm. Uh, just my overall drop shotting, I'm going to be throwing a owner one odd rigging hook. Uh, the reason I throw this hook is it's a strong, it's a strong hook, but it's uh, you can see it right there. It's a strong hook. It's got a nice wide gap on it, which gives me a really good hookup ratio. Uh, it's not a very thick hook, though, so I get really good hook penetration. The way you're going to want to tie this up is you're going to want to place, put your hook up like that, and you're going to want to double your line. We're going to tie a Palomar knot. You're going to double your line, and you're going to go through the top of the hook. So just, just like that. You, you need to go through... You need to have your hook facing up like that because if you don't, on the drop shot, that hook point will be facing down and you don't want that. You want that hook point facing up towards your, 
towards your rod basically. So we just go in the top like that. We're gonna tie our normal normal Palomar knot. All right, so now that we've got our Palomar knot tied, as you can see, you need to take the end of your line and go right back down through the top of the hook. This is the, this is the key because what that's gonna do is that's gonna put, that's gonna put your knot on top of the hook eye like that. And that's going to keep your your drop shot hook like that. That's going to give you a really, really good presentation for the fish. And it's also going to allow that hook to be penetrated right into the top of the fish's mouth. These are the weights I like to use. Uh, I don't like tungsten. in. There's no reason to throw tungsten in our drop shot, in my opinion. It's just a waste of money. Uh, the cylinder style weights come a lot better through brush and timber than the round style so i always throw the cylinder style they're really cheap uh, this i believe is a quarter ounce or a 5 16 ounce uh, that's sometimes a little heavy sometimes i like a 3 16 ounce but um but the way i fish these drop shots i really like that weight to stick on the bottom on the bottom so i can just barely twitch that worm and a lot of times when it's windy like it is today the little heavier weight helps me out with that um so let's just we'll go over the setup one more time six foot six to seven foot medium heavy spinning rod 15 or 20 pound braided line this is power pro super slick 10 to 15 pound fluorocarbon leader about 20 foot of it tied up with a one odd owner rigging hook with a eighth to five sixteenths ounce cylinder style drop shot weight. Um, so that's the setup. We're gonna get a worm on that and we're gonna start fishing. All right guys, let's talk real quick about the worms I like to throw in the drop shot. My favorite one is a Excite Baits Slim X finesse worm. This is an awesome worm. Uh, all excite baits are uh, the, the baits don't have any sand or any salt in them, uh, which basically that makes them float. So they're a very supple worm, really natural feel. I mean, you can see how it twists all the way around. Uh, it's not a heavy worm, but this worm's going to stand straight up on that drop shot, it'll float that hook. So it's a really natural presentation. Uh, sometimes, sometimes I take this worm right here and I'll bite about an inch and a half off the head to give it a smaller presentation. But it just depends on what the fish want. This color is called Plumpkin. It's a really awesome color out here in East Texas on lakes like Fort, Palestine, Lake Tyler, Athens. Uh, any lake that's got a got you know decent water clarity to it this is an awesome color on have a lot of luck on that so that's what we're going to be throwing on our drop shot we're going to try to catch some fish for you measure it up to that that one Matt? yeah oh. where you at where you at just put it back together you got it you just can't do it very hard he's right here here you go just stick it all the way through I knew it was a better one because she ran straight into the two and a half. There's a line up there. Yes. Stick her in that right live wheel. Right one? Yeah.
pounder. Yeah. <laughs>